Alright, welcome LEGO fans to another unexciting Mar LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Unexciting, video. huh? Yes. Well, I guess I will take Doc Ock back then. Come on, Bilbo. Come on, Bilbo. And I'm until he apologizes. Fist bump Bilbo in front of everyone. Not until, yeah! not until he apologizes for saying that's unexciting. Okay, well, we'll just show the rest of the stuff. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll take my box, my instruction manuals, and my comic adventure, and if you only have that to show. Well, I mean, and the generic lamppost as well. <gasps> he took the generic lamppost! Oh, sorry, viewers, I asked Bilbo when I will not be showing you. Oh, wow, really? It seems a shame to see people going around. Yeah. Anyone you never take know who could. Anyone can take it. Wait, well. But, anyway, let's get back to the review. Yeah. Will you apologize? You know I don't like Marvel Super. If you don't apologize, I'm not going to let you. Fine, I will I'll let people like Marvel superheroes. I just don't like it myself. But I won't persecute them for it. Even At least not out loud, I won't. <laughs> so, uh, what's the name of this set? Doc Ock Truck Heist. So this is the Lego Marvel superheroes Doc Ock Truck Heist. And this also came out fairly recently in uh, this year. Yes, so it's a 2014 set. It shouldn't take a whole lot of time to review. It's just a. But it does come with the new Doc Ock minifigure, as shown in the video game. So it comes with a truck, a lamp post, and some minifigures. So it's not the most exciting set, but. But you, I got it for Doc Ock. Right. The new one. So let's go ahead and get to the specifics. Recommended. Oh wait, I got, I got, um, I've got brick separators if you wanna. Oh, thanks. Oh yes. My patented thingy. Oh gosh. Right, so the recommended ages are 6 to 12. Set number 76015. Six, it's called Doc Ock Truck Heist. Contains 237 pieces. It's a building toy or jouet de construction. And a comic adventure, of course, is included. Let's see the back real quick. Three minifigures. And then as for the back of the box. Um, three minifigures, Spider-Man, Doc Ock, and generic truck driver, and a couple of okay little functions. So let's go ahead and take a look at the instruction manual and the comic adventure very quickly. Here's the instruction manual, let's just flip through it real quick. Two numbered bags, all the minifigures at the beginning I believe. Just one instruction manual. And then at the very back, some advertisements. For the, let me see this because I want to see. Parts lists. Very there. Then what the are they advertising? They're advertising Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Of course. The and game. the newer, the, oh, that, that's, isn't that Wolver? That, oh, that, that's that got to be the new set with um, Electro and Green Goblin, who they did a horrible job on the Green Goblin minifigure. Sorry. I don't like that at all. Electro, they did a pretty good job on. But the Green Goblin in the video game is um, a regular minifigure. Okay, well, that's interesting. Then, to of us. course, the Screaming Kid. Screaming Kid! And the comic adventure, of course, the most exciting part of the entire set. Dun dun. With such fashion, fascinating, descriptive vocabulary. Dun dun. As dun, dun. room, clink, whoosh, fizzing, and clink. <laughs> Oh, my favorite flat. Free! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and look, flick. <laughs> flick for flick. That's out. terrible. <laughs> Bad com. Bad com! I have no idea. <laughs> and then on the back, tells you all the cool new minifigures. And the uncool, creepy. Modoc. Brain man. That really disturbs me. Modoc. That one? Yes. His name is Modoc. Right. Will. Alright. Last of that, time to start separating. Oh, no. Right, we're not deconstructing the set. Uh, right. So we're we'll going to take a look at the minifigures. Stay in Rwanda, you start us off with Spider Man himself. The most boring of all of them. Where is he? Oh. Okay. I have three Spider Man so far. I think four if you count the keychain. Spider Man. I don't. Really like his head that much, but that's my opinion. Oh, I back oh. of the head. Good front printing. 
torso printing. I'll be right uh, there's back. a little spider on him, on his chest, and on his back. I don't know what that is. Back of head printing. I already showed that. I just didn't say anything. And then typical blue pants. And he's gonna tell you something very important now. Who me? Or? I'm Spider Man. <laughs> uh, I want to do something. Oh boy. Um, dear. <laughs> now I'll go ahead and, while Andrew is running Can off with evil laughter on his lips. We'll go ahead and take a look at my favorite minifigure in the set, and perhaps my favorite minifigure of all time. What? Of all time? Of Even more than Bofer? Yes. The what? generic truck driver. Because... You heard it here first, folks. I'm kidding. He's the generic truck driver, and that makes Which him Which makes him the best Marvel awesome. superhero. Yes. Or because person in a Marvel who doesn't like so. generic people? He's wearing his train conductor-esque hat. He's got an angry, stern face. He must have some bad customers today. It almost looks like he was wearing a police officer badge. <laughs> this is my favorite toy. And One of my favorites. He hasn't ironed his uniform in a while, it looks like. Really? See the wrinkles? Oh, yeah. Blue tie, no back printing. So, you gotta love the generic truck driver. You can't. So, Andrew, you go ahead and show us Doc Ock. First of all, I'm Save the randomness you. for the end. Okay, okay. I don't want to even show you them, I guess. Right. I will... Bill Bicol and I will not even know the secrets. Alright. So, Doc here Ock. is Doc Ock, Dr. Otto Octavius, or Dr. Octopus. I don't know much of his backstory. I don't want... Uh, I don't. I'm not into Spider-Man that much, so. But what I do like is Why do that you have this? because the Doc Ock man yeah. is pretty nice. Because you have to admit. I um well maybe later in the video I'll show you, but the Doc Ock um uh, Doc Ock ambush I believe it's called that Bill and I, and I reviewed that was very. Do you want me to find them while you're talking? Yeah sure. Right. Um. In your room, right? Yeah. Thanks. You know the set right? Yes. Okay, so this is the minifigure as shown in the video game. So he has... He has Ori's hair. Stole the hair from Ori. Scalped him. And then sent him to bed. <laughs> without any bread. <laughs> and then there is the face. A bit nicer than the older Doc Ock. And there... There is the older Doc Ock minifigure. I don't like it. <laughs> wow. It looks like Green Will Worm Tongue. Yeah. I don't know um, which one is a better a mechanical representation. Green yeah, tongue. mechanical Green Will Worm Tongue. Okay, and then there is faces, and then here we have the thing that... How his arms attach. And then... If I can't ever get this thing off... We have his body, double-sided. What is that? I, I'm thinking that it's because... Oh, that's the, how his arms are connected. Yeah, his, mm -hmm. are, his arms are infused to his body. I believe first. that it was... I have no idea how I know this. <laughs> or might know this. Uh -huh. But I think that it's something like the arms are supposed to help old people by connecting to the spinal column so they can control the arms and then like if they have a disability of you know walking like many old people have then they'll be able to get around easier I have no idea how to <laughs> sit there look grotesque yes alright so there you have it and then finally the printed legs thank you for saying printed instead of painted this is just painted. He used to say painted all the time. Oh, painted. oh gosh, oh. that was that would be quite weird. Yes. Now I want to go ahead and show you the generic lamp post. <laughs> so I can you, you, you can sit down back in your chair here, here. real quickly. By the way, we are at a guest location. If you couldn't tell, my house. Yes, Andrew nineteen. The the abode of Andrew nineteen. Andrew thirty. 
the diabolical abode. So here we have. The, oh, by the way, this is horse Spider-Man's web. For those of you who don't know that, even I know that. So if you don't know really? that, really, you must be living on that's Spider-Man's web. <laughs> so there it is. Quite boring. fascinating. So here we have the generic lamp post. It's absolutely amazing. The best Lego structure I've ever seen. Oh, even better than the Orthonk? Of course, much better than the Orthonk. Even Orthonk's better stupid. than the Death Star? I'm kidding. <laughs> and then here we have some profile bricks, which I don't know why they're even there. And we do have a small, quite boring function where you can put someone on this spider web and do this. <laughs> well, you kind of have to have it hanging over the edge of the table, actually, to get more springiness into there. And, and yeah, he goes a lot backwards. of times it goes flying backwards. Let me try it. Let's try it like sitting down instead and see if that works any better. Somewhat better, but still awful. It's a tar it's an absolutely terrible function. It was a good idea, but terrible execution. Yes. So, enough with the generic methods, which were tired and bored of fun, I'm sure. So, you two That's a the sticker. Truck. The truck. That's a sticker. Uh huh. License plate. <laughs> That's a sticker. That's a sticker. Secure transport. That's a sticker, and that's a sticker. <laughs> so many stickers, that's terrible. Okay, um... That's it! <laughs> Stay tuned for another Bill Brook No, it's not it. Here we have... Cargo. Cargo. And, in this one, if we open up this little door here, and we have a gold gem. Crystal. Crystal. And then with these two, we yeah. open these up. Everybody's favorite green paper. <laughs> Hundred dollar bills. Unfortunately, Ben, ben Franklin is among them. Right there. And then in the last one. Oops. oops. Oh, it's the light of our end deal. <laughs> no, it isn't. This isn't the alert. But well, that's the same piece. It has a completely different here. facet. You see that facet right there? You see the big. Oh, well, I, I actually have right the there? light of I believe. That facet is never. I I don't see that facet in any other gym. Well, I cannot find Although, it here's another one. You're right, this is different. I think it's an air bubble, though. Yeah, it's an air bubble for these, but don't tell anyone that. I'm just being nice. You're just being nice. Yes, and then this is how these boxes fit in. You turn them around. And we'll put two right here. And then turn those around. You don't have to. Okay. Well, I guess you don't have to. And then, there's a function. function. And I forget how to execute it. Do you remember any? Uh, let's see here. I... There you have it. He was pushing down <laughs> on the wrong thing, though. Oh, yeah. He was been. pushing down right here. Uh, <laughs> here, slipped. I can show you the yeah, quote-unquote correct way to do it, because obviously he just did it without pressing down right here. So you press down here. <laughs> oh, that was great. You have to do it with force. There. Was that better, Bobo? Yes. Don't well, mess much with better the dwarf. than the other function for sure. Don't mess with the dwarf. And then at the front of the truck, I'll get that later. Oh, by the way, these locked hatches are not in fact locked, and they don't have anything in them. So, so the roof opens up. There's dynamite inside. In now, case... why would they have dynamite inside of a truck? I know, especially since it's secure transport too. Oh, why don't I just toss the dynamite out out the window after I light it? Let's see what happens. Boom! Oops! 
Oh, there goes all my oh cargo. No. Oh no. I just destroyed the generic lamppost. <gasps> oh no! Generic security guard. The driver. You are fired. And so get to join the that club. And then of course the doors open up, but really the only way you can get many figures in and out is by opening the roof. So anything else you two need to add? No. I didn't think so. Uh -huh. Ratings. In case you have any building tips. Um. Unless you have I really know. I thought not. Ratings. Uh, Andrew, you want to rate the builds? Yeah, sure. Seven. That's quite generous. Okay, six. Yeah, I think six is good. Yeah. Seven is quite generous, but six is good. That doesn't make any sense. If seven is quite generous, I would think that you would go down to a four and say that's good. Well, but it's Andrew's opinion. He's more of a moral Well, I, I mean, suppose I'm just saying that you said I'm that. I'm doing it just because of the barely functions and the This one! Play. This is a this is an absolutely fascinating video. Yes. It's been the best video we've ever filmed, that's for sure. Of course. That's the third lie he said in the same video. So thank you for tuning in and I think you can do something random. Oh yes! I call it I call it Spider Gip. That's not cool, that's creepy. It's <laughs> creepy too. So, say hello to Spider Gimli, say goodbye to this video, and we will see you next time.